As highlighted by the EU guidelines on food donation, the primary focus of food waste prevention should be to act at the source by limiting the generation of surplus food at each stage in the food supply chain. When food surpluses occur, the best destination, which ensures the highest value use of edible food resources, is to redistribute these for human consumption. Starting from this assumption, the European Food Bank's Federation and its members are constantly looking for the best solutions to recover and redistribute surplus food to charitable organisations, helping people in need, ensuring hygiene and food safety, protecting the liability of all the players involved and protecting the final consumer. Nowadays, urban contexts are at the centre of people's lives and consumption. This is where there are available quantities of surplus food, as well as a high density of deprived people. A crucial component of future-ready cities is a resilient and sustainable food system to drive the transition from a linear to a circular economy, and not just prevent food waste, but also safely provide nutritious food for its inhabitants. In this respect, the City Cibo program of Banco Alimentare is a virtuous example dealing with the recovery and redistribution of surplus food from the distribution sector and cooked meals from the catering sector in the urban context. City Cibo is a program created by Fondazione Banco Alimentare Onlus in 2003. Surplus food is daily recovered by local food banks or by affiliated charitable organizations and then it is redistributed to people in need. Sitichibo is an example of micro-logistics, not involving a centralized warehouse and focusing on urban areas. Sitichibo volunteers recover dry, fresh and frozen surplus food from the distribution sector. How does it work? Supermarkets and retailers can donate any type of food product that has not expired or that has reached or exceeded the best before date, as long as it has been stored correctly. What are volunteers' responsibilities? Sitichibo volunteers arrive in time at the supermarket with appropriate clothing and a recognizable vest. The Sitichibo volunteers pick up the products from the supermarket in compliance with the agreement signed between Banco Alimentare and the chain. What are the administrative requirements? The supermarket staff provides a transport document, number and date, specifying the quantity and product type. This document is required by the food bank so that it can track and record all recovered food and allows tax benefits for the supermarket. How is surplus food transported? Food is stored in a refrigerated van. The non-refrigerated van can also work if thermo boxes are filled with ice boxes. The transport of fresh food should not exceed 60 minutes so that the cold chain is maintained while the transport of frozen food should not exceed 15 minutes. How do you ensure hygiene and safety? Vehicles and equipment used for transporting food must be sanitized at the end of each transport operation. Once food has arrived at its destination, the staff of the charitable organization checks what has been received and ensures that the food has been properly stored. Surplus food recovered by the City Chibo program is directly redistributed to charitable organizations or temporarily stored in a small urban warehouse, such as the Regional Food Bank Hub in Milan. In the latter case, the surplus food is recorded and sorted by City Chibo volunteers. Charitable organizations pick up the quantity and type of food, which are allocated in proportion to the typology of activity and the number of people they assist. Before handing it out, food is weighted and paperwork is completed to ensure transparency and traceability. How to get started? 1. Assessing the regulatory framework. 2. Making a feasibility study, analyzing food demand and offer in a specific area. 3. Mapping and identifying all the involved players. 4. Testing efficiency and feasibility of the recovering model in a restricted area. Five measuring and monitoring the activity. What are the challenges? Ensuring food safety and consumer protection. Setting a new agile organizational model and implementing sustainable logistics. Training volunteers as well as charitable organizations. And overcoming potential doubts 
and resistance to change of the donors. And what are the strengths? Being closer to charitable organizations and so to people in need. Recovering and redistributing food from supermarkets and neighborhood shops within the same day. Guaranteeing food safety by maintaining the cold chain up to the delivery. Providing charitable organizations with a wider mix of products to support a healthy and nutritious diet. Strengthening cooperative partnerships with supermarket chains. Raising awareness on food banks activities in the urban context. Being a leverage for brand awareness, thanks to the action of the volunteers involved in the programme.